This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. But I have good talk about provocation. Have we got provocation? We got Toby Kincaid. He's the founder, CEO, president, and all-around guy at Solardine. Ah, welcome to the show, Toby. Jay, thank you. Aloha, and thank you so much. <laughs> Aloha, for Nui Loa, man. Yeah. <laughs> and I speak for everyone when I say thank you for all your years of advocacy. It's really a pleasure. You've got such a group of talent here, and you kind of bring them together like, like the conductor of a symphony. Yeah. A little more viola, a little more trombone. Yeah. You're wonderful in bringing everyone together. Yeah. For everyone, I say thank yeah. you. Okay, you done? Yes. All right, right. the show's over. That's it. <laughs> 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 Tell me, we want to talk about solar today. But yes. We're talking about you know the, the new the new wave in solar, okay? Yes. And we always like to start with top down. So I asked you before the show, you know, what's news? Give me news. And, and first you said, well, solar has been constricting, I think was the word you used. Yeah. But now there's something else happening. It's a sea change. We like sea changes. We yes. want to know about them. Toby, what's the sea change in solar? Economics. Before, everything was expensive. You know, when you buy something, they have a lot of money up front, and everyone's, well, you know, and then there's permitting issues, regulatory affairs, makes it all difficult. So what's new is now we can package the technology and we can package the money. And if you put those two together, you have an underwriter come up with the money, and if you just agree to use it at a certain rate, we can pay the underwriter, everyone gets paid and gets their money, and this is a sea change because now the consumer doesn't have the burden of this huge, economic weight of, oh, let's buy a solar system. Okay, I like it. In fact, I've had similar ideas. Mm. But you know, one thing is if you have an investor who invests money, he wants a return. Somebody has to pay him for the return, and they have to return his capital. Isn't right. that going to be me? No. Well, it will be, but bit by bit, bite by bite. When you buy a new car, you don't walk in and with a suitcase full of money, you pay two ninety nine a month. So it's an underwriter that will come in and put that upfront money on. We just need to know that you're going to use it. And if we have an idea of how often you use it, that cash flow will support this entire package without the burden being on you, the owner. You have to buy the car, the insurance, the gas. Everything is on you. And now it's going to be on us. Us, the investors. Us, the investors, and in continuity and in, 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 with the users themselves. So the investor is part of it. He has to come up with the cash, he or she. But to answer the real question, what's my rate of return? Yeah. So it comes out to 50% of your money on top of the principal in five years. So it's a 10% levelized return. That's pretty good. It's not I mean, bad. It's good for the investor, but can I tolerate that as a consumer? Yes. And the reason is, I know you can, because you already have a gas bill, for example, with uh, your car. And if you look at how much money you spend per month, as I'm sure most Hawaiians pay quite a bit. So that's the money we're just going to redirect so if we could charge your car with solar energy, we don't have a fuel cost, we can package the technology, makes it very easy, and on top of that, you as the consumer don't have to deal with regulatory affairs and the permitting and permissions. We're gonna take care of all of that and drop these stations down. Okay. Are, are you starting to get it now? I mean, what, what, what he's talking about is, is a new model for investment in solar, solar being the operative word, um, where the consumer, you know, kind of gets a break, but so does the investor, so does everybody, and it bypasses regulatory mm, slowdown, regulatory, you know, constraints, so to speak. Exactly. Um, and, you know, and he's talking about, ooh, I didn't realize this at first, he's talking about transportation. That's what Toby is all about. He's about transportation. Yes. So how's this going to affect my life? I get up in the morning, right. okay, how does my life change? Well, on this island, you have, what, 900,000 cars? So I'm sure you're noticing with all the congestion on the, on the, in the, in the uh, highways and everywhere you go. I do notice that. Yes. Now, and well, I thank the mayor every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, one solution is we could support a ride share program. Now, just what you're doing with the bikey program that's available everywhere, we can actually put these stations where you actually go in all the parking lots. So you charge up in the morning from home, come out to wherever you're going, employment or out to eat or shopping, whatever it is, having a meal, and that's where you're going to plug in. So you charge where you park. And that makes it a really wonderful idea for people who own those businesses to say, hey, come over to our place and we'll charge your car while you're having a meal. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where I park, I park in various places. I, I park where I have to go, whatever I have to do, I park. Are you gonna provide me a solar 
uh, solar charging station wherever I, there's a lot of solar charging stations Toby well there's a lot of parking spots okay and that's the wonderful thing they're all over the island and we can with this new technology just drop them right into the space we don't have to have a foundation we don't have to penetrate or change we don't change or bend a blade of grass okay and we drop them right into the space okay. and as long as it has solar access you're in business okay I feel like there's a slide coming on do you feel that? I do hope you so. Feel I that? think there's a few of them. There's right? a slide. Let's, uh, yeah. A slide would be helpful. Uh, oh, that's not a solar well, station. Well, this is a quick little slide. I'll just go real quickly. Okay, you know, right. What's the problem? We, we, we live in a world of toxicity, you know, soil pollution, water pollution, air pollution, mercury pollution. All of this comes to the fuels that we burn. So in the bottom there, I thought, what's the challenge? You know, If you put it in terms of light bulbs, every man, woman, and child in North America burns 250 light bulbs continuously. And when we add all this energy up, that's a big challenge. Yeah. So to, to, we can go to the next slide. So to overcome that, we, we need some solutions. Now here is just a quick little calculation. We don't have to go through the whole thing, but... I could, can't read it anyway, yeah, so could, you better <laughs> explain it. <laughs> could you power Oahu with solar energy? So I did a calculation based on your resources and how much that you need, the 6,700 gigawatt hours. And at the end of the day, it comes out to about 8.8 .8 square miles. That's about 1.5% of your land. Now let's derate that, double it, 3%. But my point is you have the land already used. Here? Parking lots right now. Here on Oahu, parking lots, uh, space on military bases, uh, uh, even the roadways could be covered. You have the land. I'm talking about shade. Shade is shade a good thing. Shade is a good thing. I don't need to burn my head all the time. Exactly. Nor do you. Have that nor you. I think we have something in common. <laughs> okay, so um, you got a slide about how you do this with the shade and the solar. Right. And, and not, not chicken scratch now, a real yeah, slide. Yeah. Maybe we'll jump to the pictures if you have it there in the, in the studio. That's the last uh, JPEGs. Well, we're going to go through. This was very quickly kind of five different stations. One that goes in the parking lot, one goes in your driveway, and then there's three solar hydrogen stations that are each 10 times larger. That's all you need to do is as many of these distributed around the plant, uh, around the, uh, the uh, island is. Oh, it's beginning as, to possible. emerge now. I see something. Okay, with you a, go to the next slide. With a, with a roof on it. Oh, okay, here we go. All right. Now, okay. this is a complete power plant that we just literally assemble on a trailer, drive it to the spot, and on site we lower it down hydraulically so it takes about 10 minutes to install the station. And now you can drive in, plug in, and we're going from photons to fast charge. You're putting the sunlight directly into your car. And the array is a four kilowatt array. That's about the size that you put on your house. And this is gonna provide a lot that of, shape. a lot of power then. That's a lot of power. Yeah. So it's a level two charger that you're looking at now and that is what's stipulated by the government they'd like to see. So what's wonderful about the station is we can put it down, we can take it up, we can move it, we can put it anywhere that's a flat surface. And, and that is the real economic sea change. Okay, let me, uh, the jury has some questions, Toby. Oh, you bet. All right, that's okay. Toby Kincaid. I can ask him <laughs> questions, he's quick. Absolutely. Let's go back to the, that, uh, okay, so this is a, it's, it's a solar panel roof. Right. And, and it, it's, uh, you can't tell whether it's transparent or what, but it, I guess it's it's going to give me shade. It's it's opaque, so it's going to give you shade. You okay, and it'll prevent the uh, rain, for example. Absolutely, from falling and, car and it keeps your car from getting so hot. Have you ever walked into your oh, car and yeah, you can't yeah, touch yeah. The, yeah. the steering wheel? Right, all the time. Now this has a little <clears> tracker <throat> that it gives us 25% more energy. It's just a small one axis tracker, so it follows the, the, the sun. The, right, the, like, the, a, the, like a sun The roof power. moves. Yeah, exactly. So okay, and it operates independently, so it's operating on. On the energy that it is creating out of the solar panels Absolutely. on the Absolutely, one hundred percent. Okay, and and uh, that the, I guess the motor that moves it is over where where it, where it turns, where the, the that's shaft right. it's turns. All on, on the uh, that's exactly right. All on the the, yeah. uh, the tower there. Okay, now now the the steel plate or plate whatever it is uh, the car is located on that's part of this unit. That's eh? right, and that's we call a ballast mount. Yeah. So we don't have to penetrate anything. We can just set it down. It's heavy. It's very heavy, and you yeah. can't push it over. You can't blow it over. It's it's uh, hurricane rain. Nobody's going to be able to take it away. No, right. you can't yeah. put it in your pocket. Okay, Cusco say that big thing in front of the car is that part of the unit? Yes. Now that's the battery bank, and in the batteries, the, 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 of course, that many batteries is large, and it's pretty much equal to what a car battery holds in the electric cars. Uh -huh. And so, if the sun is not shining or it's late at night and you still want to charge your car, no problem. The battery's there, 24/7 and you can charge directly. Now, imagine this in your driveway. You have a blackout, what are you gonna do? Well, you could actually use your station to run your house for a short time. Depends on the load, but it's an industrial system and you could use it for, for, uh, for an emergency. Say, 
what was it, four, 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 what was it, four megawatts? Four, oh, four kilowatts. Four kilowatts, right, yeah, right. four kilowatts. No, no, yeah. Okay, anyway, all right, so this so is good. Another, another few so I can, I can have this in my house. Absolutely, we put it right in your driveway. And I, but I can't have it at every single parking spot. I can have it here and there, but not every parking not spot. Not every single parking spot, but I did an aerial survey, and you have lots of parking spots. You have hundreds <laughs> of thousands of parking spots. You drones for that? <laughs> well, I use actually Google Maps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but with Google Maps, we can actually look down and count. I counted up all the spaces to find out how many were over Ah, crafty cells. fellow. Well, <laughs> you have a statute, 089, that says everything over 100 stalls has to have. Oh, sure, we charger. know about that. Yeah. Right, and the problem is, how do you trench in these remote parking lots? How do you trench the power? That that gets expensive. Yeah. So this technology is perfect because you just drop it, drop in, it plug in place. Plug in Save a lot of money that way. Oh, exactly. And, and the investors love that. The underwriters are, are now listening to that. Yeah. We don't okay. like upfront cost. Okay. Right. So let's call this an, uh, a charging station LLC. Okay. Right. So I go down to the Department of Commerce and I form one, an LLC dedicated to one charging station, right? One. It's like the taxi cabs in New York. Every taxi cab is and their medallion, is you know, one medallion <laughs> and and one corporation. You know, every corporation one, and so it's one to one. Exactly. Same thing here. I guess. Same here. Everyone will have its own bank account, in fact, so we can track what's coming in. We can put advertising electronically. On it. I hope. Yes, absolutely. And imagine Hawaiian Air has all of that CO2 they pump out. They would love. I hope you're listening. You would, they would love to sponsor this because they could have their name on it and say, hey, for frequent flyers, how about frequent charging? Something like that. You know, it could bring everyone together because we all want the same thing, clean, powerful. Okay, energy. it's got the standard uh, connector, right? What is that yes. called? SJ67, what is it that's called? That's right. Well, it's a J1772. But J1772. <laughs> right, that's yeah. okay, but there's SME. It's all the cars. Yes, that's right. So. In the fast charge world, there's Chatamo for the Asian makes, uh -huh. and then there's CCS for the European makes, uh -huh. and then there's Tesla, which we can do with an adapter. Uh -huh. So we can move into fast charge. These stations you've been looking at are kind of level two charging, which is kind of the a middle range speed of charging. But we can get but 16. That's the 220. And that's, that's right. And it takes uh, how many how many hours to charge well, an we can, we can push in from the sun about 16 miles an hour of, of range. But each station will produce in one day 150 miles of clean transportation from a parking space. That's over 4,000 miles a month from a parking stall. Uh -huh. that now that puts it in perspective. Mm -hmm. So you have these scattered all over the island. No one has range anxiety. And uh, charge chasers, a, a word I just learned, where people are looking for a place to charge. You know, the burden is on the driver to not only go with a clean electric, but then to try and find a place to charge. Yeah. No, no, we wanted to put a whole fleet of these everywhere, very easy, and then we can combine our revenues, and maybe for everyone who lives here, it's $2 an hour. And for everyone who's a tourist, you have to pay market rate. So okay, let's uh, let's talk about that. Okay. I do want to get back to you know my LLC thing, but yes, yes. Um, so two dollars an hour, for example. And uh, he has an account. Right. And uh, does he have to put a credit card in, or is it automated, Toby? It's automated, and we'll have, I a, knew sun, you'd say we'll that. have a little sun card or sun club or yeah, yeah. driving on sunshine club. Yeah, yeah. And the more you use it, the more maybe you get those frequent flyer yeah. miles, or you can shop at Lowe's or Home Depot would say, hey, charge, and, and we'll give you some discounts or have a meal with us. We know you're doing your best. Let's reward the EV driver instead of making it so hard to do the right thing. Yeah, this sounds good. Let's make good. it easy to do the make right thing. Make it easy, thing. and you put it. You can put it on gas stations. A gas station would take Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You know, these are sun stations. It's, it's a natural yeah, fit. Yeah, it's, it's a perfect fit. So you, if you have a fossil car, <laughs> uh, then you can get fossil fuel if you want. But better yet, if you have an electric car, right. you can just pull up in the gas station. Right. And, and OK, but how fast does, um, does a 220, what do you call well, it? About, uh, yeah, level two is about 16 miles per hour of, tr of pushing vehicle range into your battery. Is that fast enough if I'm stuck? Well, it's level two. In fact, we, and we could quickly have a little truck rescue, but you'll have so many charging stations available, you'll never you get stuck. You can go 16 miles and the next one and so forth. Yeah, well, you could, that's just per hour if you park there half a day for work Are or whatever. Are you thinking about level three? Oh yeah, fast charge is what we really want. Yeah, that yeah. Photons and but the this is charge. a way to get into the market. That's right. This is what we have now. It's proven in the field. We, we know how to do it. We know how to work with it. And then in the future, we'll upgrade to the fast charge. Yeah, the future is what it's all about. Oh, and that's why we're going to take one minute break, and when we get back, we're going to talk about the future, Toby. Toby Kincaid, Solardyne, right here on ThinkTech. We'll be right back. Raising public awareness.
Aloha, I'm Kaui Lucas, host of Hawaii is My Mainland, here on Think Tech Hawaii Fridays at 3 p.m. Hawaiian Standard Time. We explore environmental issues, political issues, keeping it local any way we can. Aloha. I just walked by and I said, what's happening, guys? They told me they were making music. Okay, hi, we're back. I'm Jay Fidel. That's Toby Kincaid, Solar Dime. We're talking about a very creative guy, a very creative project. So let's bring out the picture of the red car. Mm. It's like the, the, the women in red, right? You bet. Okay, the picture of the red car. Bang, watch. What is that? That is the future. In the future, we're going to combine. Oops, we went There's back another to the one. There, everywhere. <laughs> you must have a resident artist in Solar Dime. No, that's me. I'm oh, a that's you. My okay. scratches. <laughs> <laughs> but the next model, the next level, the real future is the future of transportation, where we combine the station and the car, and I monetize the car, which means you could rent this car for a low amount of money per hour or per minute. Now we have a couple of companies in Portland that do this model with gasoline cars, and they're busy all the time. I see them in front, and then they're gone. Someone grabbed another one. They just take their smartphone, it's walk. Car share. Car, it's share. A car share. Yes. Okay. This is the infrastructure for Uber and Lyft. If you're listening, contact Jay. Well, they got to be go <laughs> They got to be going there. Yeah, they're they gotta, definitely they're going to there. They're going to be your competitor, though, aren't well, they? Well, uh, they can work with me or or not. It's up to them. <laughs> I recommend they work with me yeah. because we can move fast. And by combining these, you just walk up with your smartphone, go to the dash. There's a little optical reader. Boop. It gives you a little boop. The little green light comes can on. Do that one more time. Boop. <laughs> then you can walk into the car, and you're good to go. Drop the car off anywhere, someone else will pick it up. Yeah. It's actually just for what you need. And it's, and it's all GPS, so Completely. everybody knows where yeah, it is at all points. This is the 21st century, Jay. We live in a yeah, world of course, where... Of course. Yeah, I'm from the old days where we didn't have these things. We had, you know, abacuses. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in the transition. Abacuses, this is over. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is certainly fast. Okay, so this is the same This is the same kind of it's platform the same with the solar roof. Right. And what we did is we but raised it up. it's different than the one yeah, you showed we, a minute ago. This is a ago. newer one. We've yeah. raised it up and we've added an LED display. Now that requires what, permitting, the what, display, because what, what, what there's that? rules what about- What are you showing? You're showing instructions. It's, it's, well, instructions are advertising. Ah, advertising. And see, that, you go and take your car, you look up and you say, oh, hey, please come have a burger at whatever. Yeah. So um, the, the idea of communication, transportation, and energy, all three separate things now combined into one integrated system, and that's how the e economics are really so gonna go fast. Putting it together then. Yes. It's, it's what you showed in the first picture, Mm. But it's faster. It may be a fast yep. charger, yep. number three. Exactly. And and you get a package deal. You get a bundle with the car and the charger. The whole thing. And that uh, will be the future. And, and I'm sorry, car company dealerships, but what do we need you for? Why would you buy a new car when I can give you a Tesla or an i3 or anything you want simply with your smartphone by the hour? And not a very much money either. We yeah. could do these for $20 an hour and do it by the minute. So it's... It's only a few dimes. Per well, minute. in Hawaii, that might not be a problem, but if, you know, if you have long distances on the mainland, that would, would be a problem. Twenty, twenty dollars an hour, well, would be pretty expensive. Well, it would be, but if you look at the costs of Uber drivers and Lyft drivers, because yeah. they pay everything. They pay for their car, they pay for depreciation, they pay for insurance, they pay for gas, they pay for cleaning, they pay for everything. You add that all up, this is less than that. Uh -huh. So by providing the infrastructure for the drivers themselves, this would be the car of choice. Oh, and you're talking about drivers that's where on I'm really, Uber and that, Lyft who use That's really this. where I'm trying to go. Oh, boy. And so it, it's more than that. It's, it's an integration. It's a bundle of the car, the solar, and the driver, too. Precisely. <laughs> that's the future, Jay. And, we, and, and it's very easy for the driver. They get a brand new car. It's clean. It's nice. You know, remember in an internal combustion engine, there's 2,000 moving parts. An electric car is 20. Well, let me do the math. You know, they say that it takes $10,000 to maintain a car these days. Yes. Uh, per annum. Yes. Okay? Yeah. So if I'm, if I spend, say, just say two hours a day, just say that as a, 
and, and that's uh, let's say the 300 days. So that's um, they get for seven thousand dollars per annum at two. Two, uh, at tw what is this, twenty dollars an hour? No, I, I did the math. Well, that's twenty dollars right. an hour, right? Right. right. Say two hours a day, um, and say three hundred uh, three hundred days a year. What does that come to? Quick. Uh, Eighteen hundred. Uh, all right. So it's not that much. No, it's not. So maybe less than ten thousand. Well, here's, 000, what, the, here's what. Well, yeah. And that, the federal government says the cost for you to maintain a vehicle today is twenty cents a mile. That's the cost of your oil changes and your tires and all of that stuff. But an electric car, it's two cents. So why throw the 20 cents, 18 cents away? Why do that? Why not just be able to access the car? And it's a whole new world. All of the problems, the, the oil change companies, sorry, got to go. The dealerships, sorry, got to go. The insurance companies that pay every, have people pay for the insurance. Insurance is included in, including in your everything. bundle, isn't you it? Betcha. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing. You probably get good, you know, good rates on insurance that way. Absolutely. There's a, there's yeah. a group it's, policy. Right? They're kind of excited about it. I see three problems. Please. Okay. First problem is, you know, resistance, because people like their fossil cars. They right. really, really, really do. Right, right. It goes back to Archie Andrews, you oh, know, yeah, no, they Americans. really like their fossil yeah, cars. Yeah, we like cars. Yeah, you got you to get through that somehow, but that's well, another answer. conversation some other time. I have an answer. Second, second problem is, yeah. is, is um, you know, uh, th that, uh, that, that you got to pay to have the bundle. You got somebody's got to pay. Um, and, uh, you know, that costs money. Mm -hmm. um, so you got, you know, consumer resistance to pay that much money, you know, the $20 an hour, whatever comes out to be. I'm sure you can make it cheaper over time. Absolutely. When you refine your, <laughs> your systems. <That's> right. <clears throat> the third problem I see, we can <coughs> address these all together. Mm -hmm. The third problem is, is, is raising the capital. And we, we were going to get back to that. Right, the and that's an important Charging discussion. station LLC right, idea. Right, um, So let's, let's, let's talk about, uh, uh, you know, forgetting the resistance about fossil cars is another conversation, but let's talk about how you get people to buy into the notion that this is actually cheaper than owning a car. Right. And, yeah. and with the bundle involved, it's more efficient than any other way to get around town. Right. Well, let's take that. What does it cost to own a car? You have a car payment. You have an insurance payment. You have the repairs and the maintenance payments. You have gasoline payment. I just say to anyone who wants to use these cars, add that up. What are you paying now? Because if you go the miles using these cars, it will be less. Yeah. It will be. So I don't have to convince anyone they, their own pocketbook. And as far as the point you made about, you know, we love our muscle cars, we love cars. Absolutely. Have, have you driven a, an electric car lately? They're gorgeous. They have instant torque. They can put anyone to shame. Yeah. These are not small little pedal cars. These yeah. are... Monsters. Gratification cars. They yeah. are fun. If you want to accelerate, there's more torque at zero RPM than yeah, you'll ever I've get heard in terms of investment. But you know, one amazing. thing we haven't talked about is an expense you haven't identified yet, Please. and that's the cost of the space. Ah, so so if, if I go on that, uh, say, the, uh, the garage, the, the gas station. Right. Um, garage, boy, that's out of there. <laughs> <50 laughs> that goes ago. way back. <laughs> way back. Um, if you, if you, you go to the gas station and you say, I want to put this here, you know, and he says, hey, that's a lot of square footage. Well, yeah, he doesn't I'm have much room. I'm going to charge you rent for that. Well, that's, that's fine because the, the gas station, you're, you're making a good point, is a kind of a small thing. But the parking lots are wide open, and I've been studying your parking lots. It's what I do. <laughs> and what I see is you have enormous amounts of land square miles of parking lots and this providing shade and we can drop it in where the idea is to make it convenient make it easy for people and they'll love it because they have no upfront cost we're gonna get the underwriter to pay that we just need to know how many people will use it and then we'll aggregate that to pay the underwriter the underwriters happy because they have a reliable piece of equipment that has value it's collateralizing the note so not only are we gonna pay them and promise to pay them but they own title to my hardware until I pay them so off and I get it back <laughs> you come to the you come to the gas station man and say look yeah. I need uh, I don't know what's the square what's the footprint of well there's not much in a gas station he might not like he or she might not like that but the parking lot owner would because you hit the key point cut them in give them a in. piece you give, give them a piece of the action yes give it's them not a piece rent the you're not going to want to pay them yes. rent. You give them a percentage of the action so you, you'll you'll give them an accounting so to speak of yes. how much you earn on this machine exactly and you'll get a check or electronic payment every It'll month whatever it is. Yeah, that's of right of course of course but that's the key is you've got to cut everyone in and if it's the law that says you have to have a charging station let's buy it for them Give it to them and, and give them a little piece. Then they might even promote, hey, at, at our steakhouse, you could come sure, and charge. Sure, sure. It could be any parking lot, too. Absolutely. And there are many all and over. And maybe that satisfies 
that statute you mentioned with, with the required number of uh, you know parking yes. stalls Hawaii for, State for Hawaii electric Hawaii. cars. Yes, so exactly. so he's motivated because a lot of a lot of people actually haven't complied with that law. So in, for, the the low hanging fruit was taken, and yeah. now the people that are out of compliance have just are facing a huge cost. Yeah, and so I'm, I'm putting in the new you've got the stalls trench and all, all in, yeah. and then all the yeah. bridge, yeah. just hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. how about zero cost? And I and I and you get money. a check. You get a piece. That's pretty good. So on that level, and furthermore, I'd like to say that if the gas station guy doesn't want to do it, that's fine. You go down the block, because there's always somebody who's going to want to do it. Some people do like to make money, and those <laughs> parking lot owners are particularly interested because it's just, it's the most valuable real estate in the city. I tell you, it's the most undervalued asset in America, wow. our parking lots. And in fact, one third or 40 percent of Houston in the city limits is all dedicated to parking and cars. Well, it used to be. Yeah, now it's going down. Now, now, it's, going, now it's going wet. Now they just, <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good point. But that, shouldn't that uh, even inspire us more not to keep putting carbon into the atmosphere? Yeah. It's going to express, yeah. and it's going to express violently, and we don't want that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, by, by the way, just a footnote point is, you know, you could put um, an, 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 an air uh, a tire filler air device Ooh, in this like machine. It. I like it. And just run it out of that big pod. So if he wants, if his tires are low, he can do that by himself real Brilliant. quick. No, no, absolutely. That's the idea is to keep. The, we're adding little USB ports. You can charge your wheelchair, your your phone. If you have a disaster, if your grid goes down for whatever reason, how are people going to communicate? You need these power supplies distributed everywhere. Yeah. So there's there's. Oh, a nice you might angle. even if a, if a utility wanted it back, if they wanted to wire it, you could even sell some power back. Absolutely. To them. There's a big yeah. advantage, in fact, in working with Kiko with any utility, so that we can, when they need energy, we can. Yeah. Just got to wire efficient. it up, that's all. That's it. Okay, one minute. We only have a minute left. Uh, I'm sorry about this, but I wanted to ask you about the LLC. Yes. And we talked offline back when yeah. um, I got the idea that this was not cheap. If, if I wanted to go down and buy one of these things, it would cost me $40,000 plus. Yes. Um, and if I if I have to do that, okay, uh, then I certainly want to I want to arrange an, uh, you know an investment vehicle of some kind. Right. Hence right. the LLC. Right. So if you do that, and if we, that me and my friends, put in the money in the the LLC, hmm. we don't really have to get PUC approval. All we, all we just, we buy LLC interests, okay, and with insufficient amounts to to uh, acquire this piece of equipment. One LLC, one piece of equipment, and, yes. and off we go. Yes. And so, and so, are you going to create um, a kind of an investment investment machine, a vehicle? Yes. I shouldn't use the word vehicle in this context, <laughs> but a vehicle so that me and my friends can buy in and then get a return. And can you tell me that I'll make, you know, what, uh, ten percent a year on that? Yes because we those are all uh, set in the contract so the rate of return is a particular payment that gets applied and it turns out that 50 percent on top of the principal over five years get amortizes out to a 10 percent internal return rate of return for the capital so you get and plus you have title to the capital to collateralizing it until you're paid so it's a five-year note and then once we pay that down, we've eliminated the burden to someone having to buy these stations. We just want to know that you'll use it occasionally. So and, and, my, and my share of that would be a proportionate part of the forty thousand dollars, whatever it is. Uh, whatever, whatever the amount is, yeah, yeah. and we'll include a contract. For and, five and, I, and I, since it's a limited partnership or a corporation, I don't really have any personal exposure beyond. That's right. What my share of the acquisition cost exactly, is. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, gee whiz. And at the end of the day, we can even transfer the title to that LLC if we had a large. So it's a aggregate. purchase agreement or a sale of right. the equipment to, right. to the. And of course, it has to be a maintenance agreement too. So that has to be included. And you right. would you and maintain it for that. the LLC. You betcha. Very interesting. Where's my checkbook? Can you bring my... <laughs> Never mind. Thank you, Toby. It's been wonderful to talk Aloha, to you. You are so energetic, Aloha, and I do you. need to know the name of your vitamin pill. Thank you very much. <laughs> Aloha, Toby Kincaid. Aloha. <laughs>